my channel and this is part three of a four part series of my local beauty supply store I had five dollar wigs and ten dollar lace fronts and this is what I got so as you can see I have green eyebrows which means I have green hair now this is an ombre colored green hair you can see on the back here it goes into a like neon green to a, a darker slime green um, and it this one was five dollars this is the brand you need a screenshot 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 and so <laughs> this is definitely different for me but let's get into it um, Again, I grabbed what was in the bin. Mind you, this beauty supply store was brand new, just opened in Tempe, and they had a bin. They just threw them in there. It was first come, first serve. You didn't have a limit. You just grabbed whatever. Um, so upon me grabbing whatever, I said, I need more content. Five and ten dollar wigs, you can't beat. So yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. All right, let's cut this off. All right, it does say her name is Stephanie, and I got her obviously in a yellow green. Um, it says ear to ear, full lace front with um, baby hairs in the back to do a natural updo. Um, it is by the Bonita Collection, and it is human hair blendus, and it says 100% hand tied. Um, now I do not see if I can add heat. Yeah, it doesn't say that I can add heat onto it, but I mean, I don't know. I won't risk it. If it doesn't say, then I definitely won't risk it. But it does have two combs on the side, three combs actually. There's two combs on the side, one up at the top, and then a comb at the back with adjustable straps. So yeah, again, here's the tag if you want a screenshot and you like it or the wave pattern and you like it just in a different color it does say that it has um, a blonde tan blonde ombre a gray yellow aqua pink auburn red ocean mint and the normal basic colors like one would be um, 2730 but I didn't see that in the band so <laughs> all right let me show you guys the lace the lace is very nice curl pattern is nice so yeah at this point you guys don't forget to like and subscribe um, I do appreciate everybody else that has subscribed thus far and I'm glad to see some of you are enjoying this uh, four-part series of mine that I have completed or just me doing um, the wigs throughout the day instead of like once a week and then uploading um, so yeah this is exciting so I'm just gonna cut the tag off at the back you already know I cut off the tags Move your hair to the sides and then all of a sudden you see a tag. So hopefully this is big head friendly because y'all know I have a lot of hair. I have a big fro, big blonde fro. So, all right. Let's see. Oh, she looked tight. She looked tight. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay, she not that tight. She not that tight. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Why do I do these things? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let me put these clips. Ooh, ooh. You guys, make sure you're following my um, handles, my social media, because I do post um, what I look like in these wigs. <laughs> I do my little skits and my little videos. So make sure you follow those. I will have them in the description box. And I will also have... Um, how well the wig held up throughout the end of the day. I usually um, start around noon when I put my wigs on and then I will take them off usually around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. Um, so that gives me a full day of knowing what's what. Okay, so as I was saying, you can see the lace here. It actually looks really, really good. Um, so, <laughs> all right just gonna pin this back 
Um, and at this time, if you guys want to fast forward on the parts that's going to take me the longest to do, please feel free to do so. So I'm just going to lay it down and cut it. Oh, okay, listen, I can't, I can't wait to see what she's going to look like. Y'all know I have long sideburns, so it says ear to ear, but it still don't go down enough to cover my sideburns. And, you know, I ain't cutting my sideburns because it took me a while to like my sideburns. And I finally like them, so. So it is ear to ear, I guess, if you have a smaller head. But in my case, no ma'am. All right. So I'm just going to cut it here, trying a different method. I saw somebody say it was easier if you did it like this. Um, now my blow dryer is going to be a little loud. So again, if y'all want to fast forward it, please feel free to do so. I feel like this other way that I've seen on how to lay the lace down is messing me up. So I'm just going to do it like how I do it normally. Because I'm over here messing up my makeup. Yeah, I'm over here messing up my makeup. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Okay, let me just cut this off. Let me do my thing. That's what I get trying new stuff. I didn't quit trying new stuff and just do do what works for me. Now, in case you guys are wondering what I'm looking at, I am looking at a mirror down here on my table. Now I don't have to use my lace spray like I was doing before because the lace is already sprayed or sprayed. The lace is already a color similar in complexion. So for me, I don't have to use any lace tint, which is pretty awesome. So yeah. That's what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have to fix that. Dang it. That's what I get, trying to do new stuff. Now, I'm not going to put baby hairs on this one because just not. <laughs> I fell in that area.
put my band down here just to lay it down while I'm talking to y'all and going through how the wig is and looks and feels. So, um, now I will say this, the wig does feel very good. For it to say human hair hand tie blend, it does feel good. Um, now I don't know if there's, no, there's not, there's not multiple partings. However, it does look like a real scalp here. So I'll let you see that there. It does look like a real scalp, but I don't see any way that you can part it in particular. Um, but you know, I like the flip over natural method, which is just like this. So I'm probably going to leave it like that versus doing anything else or trying to lay it down. Um, it does feel really good. You know what? Um, I'll probably put some mousse in it to maintain it throughout the day. Um, otherwise, I think it's gorgeous. Let me show you guys in the back so y'all can see. Okay, this is how far. So almost to tailbone. Um, she lays. Look how that is in the back. Um, again, it does say that you can put it up in a ponytail. Um, because it has baby hairs in the back, which I did see in the back, but I don't put my wigs up in a ponytail like that. Um, I might try it in this one and try to do a couple different things with it. Again, follow my social media handles. Um, that way you can see some of the uh, ways that I do style it. But it is like a loose wave pad. I think it's so cute. I'm definitely serving Slime Queen. Definitely, you know, and the colors are in like since last year, the color are probably the year before the color trend has been in and I felt like at first like I might be a little too old to be rocking these colors. But you know what? There's no age on clothes. There's no age on wigs. There's no age on colors. Um, so, you know, do what makes you happy. Do what's fun. Um, do what you feel that you may like for you because it's fun. It's been fun for me. Um, it's definitely been fun for Mr. Van Dyke, <laughs> okay, because he's been liking these different uh, outside of the box looks that I've been doing outside of my blonde um, hairs that I've been putting on or outside of my blonde natural fro. So, um, also, I had some questions about um, me getting my natural hair dyed blonde. Um, there's a woman named Lisa Carrillo. Um, uh, if you go down on my Instagram on my um older post um you'll see some of the pictures that i've tagged her in on her dyeing my hair blonde no damage she's an amazing person she also teaches classes um so yeah if you guys are like oh you didn't have any damage with your hair being dyed no not at all but i know some people have been going through my older um post on uh instagram and they've been liking those fro pictures and though the blonde colored hair is from that beautiful woman there she's from cuba she's an amazing sweetheart she is in las vegas um i'm in arizona but you know we do the drive because she's an expert at what she does she does the trim she does the coloring she does all that stuff just so you all know that hopefully that answers any questions but all right let's go ahead and take off this band you already know this band if you if the adhesive catches on the hair it will snag it oh look how she lays yes yes giving ghostbusters giving <laughs> goosebumps yes look at that oh tell me what you guys think you guys like it you like the wave pattern do you like the color she's giving from she's giving I'm going to do some videos with her and have some fun, y'all. So y'all make sure you look out for it and um, tell me what you think. Tell me, uh, you know, laugh at some of the videos, like some of the videos. Let me know that you're there. Let me know that you see them. Um, but again, thanks for watching this three or four part series of what my beauty supply store had and which was five and $10 lace fronts and full wigs. And this is what I got. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I hope to see you guys soon. I got one more that I will be uh, uploading here before the week is over, and we'll see what crazy color or what she looks like. So again, thanks for joining me, and I will see you all soon. Later!